The purpose of uh, my talk here is to discuss some proposals for extending the navigation data in Rhinox 3 to support uh, C, not, not only to support CNAV, but potentially um, other data within the navigation uh, files. Uh, so we have proposal one uh, by Oliver and company, and it's more or less an extension in the existing format with a header record. And then just to, to add um, another option, I came up with a uh, generic navigation file format where we would have Keplerian elements, uh, EOPs, Almanac, Clock, Iona in the body of the message. Uh, the Iona would be in the body rather than the header. And then also there's been a request to uh, support or, or encode all the navigation data in a hex format in a Rhinox file. So th this is uh, option one by uh, Oliver and company. And um, what we have is a, a, a um, you can see. You, you can see. Oh, I see. Yeah. So what we have is a, um, a proposed new header where you would have CNAV and where it comes from. So you can see that in the just above the blue uh, table. And then you would have the regular uh, first line. And then the types that you could specify would be CNAV, LNAV, INAV, legacy NAV, which would be the old format. So it's going to be backward compatible. Um, yeah, so that's that. And what, what Oliver did was uh, find the messages that are common between the legacy nav and uh, um, CNAV and, and slot them in. And then those that weren't used, he, he reused the slots. So that makes, makes good sense. It, um, there's very little change. Uh, you can still support the legacy data, but um, there also is some missing data that uh, has to be slotted in. And currently, the navigation data in Rhinox 3 uh, handles the ionosphere very poorly for Beidou, where the ionosphere corrections are updated more frequently. No, I shouldn't say poorly, but it's just awkward. So there's the extended uh, option. So like I said, the, uh, not, not everything that CINCINAV is currently supported, so earth orientation parameters are, are one of them. It's not just Beidou, it's also Galileo transmitting non parameters more often. Yep, yeah, good, good. So the uh, other option that I propose just for another option <coughs> would be to uh, have the data blocked. So you would have, a gen for, you'd have generic blocks of data You'd have uh, uh, alerts, health, integrity in a block. You'd have Keplerian elements in a block, Cartesian elements in a block, user range accuracy in a block, uh, so on. Group delay, EOP, and Almanac. Uh, and then you'd have a mask so that all of these things wouldn't necessarily have to be present in the file. The header that uh, the uh, Oliver's group proposed would still be the same, and it would be backward compatible. But I realize this is a big change. And uh, not sure whether or not the community wants to support such a thing. Um, something to talk about. If, if you switch to something like a message-oriented format, I think the only way is to directly map the CNAP messages into ASCII messages, decoded ASCII messages like we do here. Because you do not only have CNAP, you have many other message-oriented formats. Most of the modern formats, also the new uh, signals of Galileo, the CDMA signals, they will have message-oriented formats, and then you need a one-to-one -one mapping. So you should decouple that proposal from what you currently have in CNAV. Yeah? Gotcha, gotcha. So this is what I've done for CNAV. So I've got the messages there, and I'm proposing that they look something like this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, concerning option three, uh, having a hex format in Rhinox, I have to say I'm not 100% in favor of that, but that's just one person's opinion. Uh, within RTCM, they have raw binary uh, message types that they support. I would advocate for that, but 
I'm just one person and I'm willing to do what the, uh, the majority would like. So, and of course, in lieu of this, I asked uh, Lou Este and uh, he said that Binance already supports this. So, uh, the message types? Yeah, he said he can, they yeah. can extract, in particular from the Javad, he said he had worked on the TPS, uh, sorry, JPS implementation. Yeah. One thing I didn't mention is, is that uh, CNAV is not supported in RTCM at the moment. So that's something that we have to advocate and push for. So we would have, the goal would be to have a binary equivalent. So you'd have ASCII, RINEX, and binary RTCM. Uh, 